It looks so nice. Want to weigh your hair up? Like that? I don't know. I don't really like it up. What are you thinking of wearing? Mm, the boys are going tonight. You know what that means. You shouldn't go. I was thinking maybe wearing the green one. Yeah, green's nice. Mm. I like the red one. You definitely make a statement wearing the red. Sorry. Fiona, what are you trying to achieve? I just want to look nice. For who? Posted a new picture too. This is fucked. You like him. What? No, no, it's, it's nothing like that. Here, do you know what? Wear the green. Green's nice. Oh, wear whatever you want. Don't let them dictate what you're gonna wear this evening. You've done nothing wrong, my darling. You've got nothing to hide. You're gonna take any pictures tonight, Fiona? Okay, I'm gonna wear the red one. Hello? Oh. Who's ready to get fucked up? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Why aren't you dressed yet? I don't know, I'm just not really feeling like it. Okay, I'm getting a taxi right now. We should do something, we should definitely do something. Papa wish to hear for a bit. Okay, no, that was not the plan. We are going out. We just need to get you a little bit more in the mood. Is everybody missing the point? What do you mean by that? Do you want her to stay locked up in a room forever? Do you know what? You look really nice, Fiona. You might even get to kiss someone tonight, imagine. I knew it. You want to get with Ben? Is this what this is? No, no, that wouldn't be. We actually look so hot tonight. Come on, get in. Mm. Wear the green one. Yeah, mm. maybe. I don't want to look too sexy. No, you definitely want to go for sexy. Here, should we hop some on the telly? Um, oh shit, it's the season finale of Loveville. It's nice. Oh, I love Loveville. Mm -hmm. Oh, that starts in 50 minutes. You watch all the episodes. Come on, watch until the final. Here, lads, we can go out any night. It was only one night that the season four finale of Loveville. <laughs> uh, no. I did not come over here to watch TV. Oh, you have some weed. I have some weed. You can smoke weed, chill out, watch Loveville. Fiona, can you actually stop being shite crack? I'm not sitting here all night smoking weed. Ben's, Ben's going. going. Oh, remember the time you almost kissed him? I didn't really kiss him. But... Oh, you think nobody knows? It doesn't matter. Okay, taxi's on his way. Here, yeah, where's where's we? Mm. Oh, look at you and Eve's story. Share. Share. Fiona, they know you shared the photos. Okay, I'm gonna wear the red one. I mean, it was an accident. Accidents do happen a lot. Or was it really an accident? Eve. Why don't we just stay in? No, Fiona, come on. She was your friend. You saw the pictures. They're actually so bad when you think about it. Fiona, will you please just get dressed? I did not spend hours shaving my foot to have a night in with you. The pictures were private. It was an accident. Ashing was clearly with some other guy in the photos. Yeah, and Ben's her boyfriend, like my ex-boyfriend now. Well, either way, you should have stayed out of her business. Wait, did you send the pictures to Ben because you liked Ben? No! I mean, it could be. I think the taxi might be here. Mm. Oh, we are going to have such a good night. Literally everyone is going. Except Ashlyn. We won't be seeing Ashlyn for a while. We have seen a lot of Ashlyn. Mm. Oh, um, the cab is here. Oh, yes. Hi, Lena, girl. If you want to destroy that girl's life and reputation, I was just going to go out like nothing happened. She can't leave her house without being judged by everyone. Who cares about real relationships? Stay here with us. Watch Loveville. Come on. It won't take long before everybody knows exactly oh what you did. Oh my god, Fiona wasn't even the one that let virtually a stranger oh, take... I don't think it was a stranger. No, a stranger take a there. photo of her while she Wait, was giving a guy know, a... Why would you send him to Ethan? <laughs> Fiona, that's actually so hot. <laughs> the lads will love that. What? I'm sending it. No, delete that now. All right, no, all right, why all right. Why would you send them to Eve? You know what she's like oh, in here this. I could do worse, okay? I could do a lot worse. I have a worse pictures. Have you seen them? Don't start, man. Oh, 
she's gonna send them out. Please, for <laughs> love, Bill. I'm actually gonna send them out. That's what you want me to do. Oh, that one's good. Oh, that one could destroy her life. Oh shit, the taxi's waiting. Right, come on, hurry up. Yeah. You look really nice, Fiona. I suppose it was just a mistake. You walked out of there a rock right. star. What else did you expect? It's not right, man. It's exploitation. You knew you, what you were going into. It's not like you hadn't seen the show before. Okay, okay. Let's just take it down. We all knew what we were going into. Casper, and this is a safe place where you can express how you feel. So I'm just going to ask that you let him speak without interruption. Oh, he joined up Loveville, for God's sake. Casper, please. Okay, Johnny. When you're ready. No, oh, it's grand. Say what you want to say. See? Nothing. I just can't feel it anymore, you know? It's especially these kind of intimate moments. I'm just... I'm looking for the camera. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I want to make sure it catches my right side, you know? Okay. It's my good side. I just... I just can't be real. But there's no cameras here. I know, I know, but it's like I can't be myself anymore, you know? It's like I'm conditioned or something. Conditioned? See? See, I can't help it. You went straight from Loveville into Loveville Heights. I mean, you've been on a reality TV show for over a year. I know, right? I think you get me, Sinead, you know? You really get what I'm going through. Oh my god. Go on. I can't sleep. I used to wear a tank top in the show, you know? Sleep with my arms out over the duvet. So they'd pick me up in the edit, you know, because of my muscles. Since I came back to Ireland, I, I just wake up shivering. What kind of things did you like to do as a kid? My mum used to bring us to the beach a lot, actually. Oh. I used to really love that. Swimming in the beach at night. At night? It's really beautiful, actually. Moonlight on the water. Mm -hmm. She did until she, um, until she uh, no, don't do it. passed away, actually. Are you lying for sympathy, but No! Okay, she's still alive. But she did bring us to the beach a lot. Reality TV, it's destroyed us. I'm never going on another show again. Johnny, I think you'd really benefit from some intensive therapy. But you should start by maybe trying to reconnect with nature, with your family, with your friends. Would you consider going to a meditation camp for a week? You know, start to get to work on the ego. I'm nothing without my ego. All right, sure. I'll give it a try. Grace. Mairead. I can't go out. Everyone knows me, everyone recognises me. Well, no one likes to cheat. I never cheated. I never really cheated, it was for ratings. Same. 
The producers made the other contestants turn against me. I fell in love. I fell in love with Maurizio's design. It was my design. I watched that head to head with Maurizio. They wanted ratings. I was stupid. They paid me extra. And I signed a contract. We don't want to get into any slanderous But the design was Maurizio. mine. It was never Maurizio's. Great. I have been a close colleague of Maurizio's for a long time. I know him from the reality circuit. You completely stole that winning design off of him. You're just disgusting. He won, didn't he? I've worked my whole life. Designing is everything to me. I can't even walk down the street without being recognised as the girl who cheated on Catwalk Heroes. But the design was mine, Sinead. The show was dying. They needed the ratings. I signed that agreement because I needed the Marie, extra money. we can't get into legally binding contracts All right my now. life, I've wanted to be a designer. Now I may as well have the plague. I'm ruined. Completely ruined. I sold my soul. Bet you enjoyed the extra cash. The past is in the past, Mairead. You really need to try to make up for past wrongdoings. Oh my god, the only thing I did wrong was sign that contract! The thing sometimes is to admit the truth. I'm telling the truth! They did the same to me. I think you need a week of CBT to get that compulsive lying under control. Hello! Does anybody hear me? I'm not lying! I'm not lying! Thanks for sharing, Mairead. <laughs> Carrie? I suppose you all know me, the desperate one from Loveville. My only crime here is love. Obsession. People do stupid things when they're in love. Really stupid things. Sure, ask Johnny. Ask him what he did for the extra air time. That's part of the show. Only he gets to walk away being loved by the public. And a big wad of cash in his pocket. We all did things. Not me. I fell in love. On a reality TV it's show. It's not real, Carrie. It's reality TV. It was real for me. The last thing we want to start doing now is playing the blame game. Take responsibility. It's manipulation, yeah. I sold out. I can say it. Nobody made me do it. What were you on? 1984. It was a reality show. Survival show. We spent three months on an island, writers, artists, intellectuals, all under the scrutiny of psychologists. Didn't they have to cut that short, though? Total carnage. Reminiscent of Lord of the Flies, cannibalism was the last straw. The remaining contestants had to be airlifted out of Who there. suggested cannibalism? It's a survival show. Jesus Christ. The goal is to survive. It's the only logical solution when there's nothing left to eat. Okay. Thanks for sharing, Casper. You might benefit from some intensive therapy. Did you say that again? I'll think about it. Sinead? I played the game. I stuck to the script, so whatever the producers wanted, I did it. If they wanted me to ruin an existing relationship, to be loved, be hated, outrageous, whatever it took. And I was good to them and they were good to me, so it was mutually beneficial. Mm -hmm. I've been on the reality circuit for five years now. I know you all know me, but I got shafted. I mean... They dangled the carrot and I chased it. So they promised me my own TV show. So five years. Five years of being their bitch and nothing. Said there wasn't enough of a demand for me to be on the TV. That's a lie. I think the public knew though, you know? Because you're not very real. Yeah, they didn't buy it. Hardly. And it's not real. It's an alternate reality. Uh, are we nearly finished? I'd like to go... It might make you question what is real. Is this real? I mean... Have any of you questioned how you got here today? My mother dropped me, so... Concerned loved ones? There's bound to be one or two left. You know, I'd really like to go. What if I told you your loved ones are here? What? What if I told you? You're all part 
of a brand new TV series, After Reality. Oh my god! obligated to appear in at least one more reality show. Congratulations! Hi, I'm Carrie. You may know me from Loveville and Loveville Heights. This life, my house stinks. No shame, third season. I already told you I don't want to. 1984. Back in the game, baby. DM was mad. It's class, isn't it? I didn't it's think it was real. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit weird. Yeah, in a cool but, way though. Yeah. Really cool. joining the live stream. Uh, I know there's been some concern about me recently, but um, I've already told you guys there's really nothing to worry about. Um, well, without further ado, uh, welcome to the party. You all know each other. You might not all recognize each other, but you all know each other. Brian Hunter 911. I'm anonymous. <laughs> cool Cat 1. Oh shit. You're Cool Cat 1. I thought you'd be. Fatter? Female. Yeah. JR number one fan. How does he know? It's weird, right? You know what's really weird? I think we should call someone. Did you guys tell anyone you were coming? The invite said not to tell anyone. Did you? No. Did you? Ah, man. I'd love to get this on my story. Did you leave your phone outside? That's what the man asks. In all his latest videos, he keeps glancing off camera. I think someone's controlling him. This is Jake Ryan we're talking about. 15 million fans. It's a publicity stunt. He keeps talking about wanting to be left alone. It's all he's been vlogging about, but that's not like Jake Ryan. They never I... want to be left alone. Exactly. I don't know. Two weeks, no vlogs. I think his fans deserve an explanation. Mm -hmm. Finding his location in 2018 was some serious work. How long were you searching? Three days. I found him through Google Maps, mostly. He was leaving clues at every location. He wanted to be found. But this... Ah, he's cracked. Needs to be in rehab. We're gonna be in his next vlog. We're gonna be in Jake Ryan's next fucking vlog. <laughs> Do you think he's live streaming us? Hmm. He likes the control. I think he'll edit it first. I want my phone. Why don't you go get it? I'm not missing this. Oh, no. 
99. That's Con Art 99. That's the drama alert guy. Did you see the roast he did on Jake Ryan when he entered Loveville? Uh, they're collaborating. That's definitely a setup. It's a setup. Tell them. I don't know. Just fucking say it. Like we rehearsed. I was 12 years old. Huh? I can't remember. I don't know what to say. Look at the camera and talk. <laughs> Jake Ryan was 12 years old. <laughs> he wanted to be left alone. First I gave him some space, but we didn't listen. Did you give me space, Connor 99? Ryan Hunter 911. Cool Cat 1. JR number one fan. Where the fuck is my space, guys? This is enough video. He's gonna kill him. Where are you? I'm leaving. Jake Ryan, fuck you. You owe us an explanation. I've followed you since I was an emo. You lost me four million followers, Ryan Hunter 911. Revenue, Amy. My sponsors pulled. I need this pace, not more hits. This doesn't make sense. Come on, where's the camera? Oh, it won't open! This is not a wind-up. It is not a wind-up. He tracked us. He tracked us. He followed us. He fucking means it. You okay? No. Dear fans, I gave everything to you. You took it all away. My privacy, my, my girlfriend, my childhood. Myself. You think you know me, you don't know me. There's no drug problem, there's no mind, there's no mind control. I rejected you. I walked away, but you wouldn't listen. I didn't listen. My dedicated fans have always demanded more of me. Fucking kidding me! Let's go to first bro! Call someone else! I don't want you to see this. I want to keep this for myself. <laughs>